Whoa, check it out here. We got an octopus. Ooh. Oh man. Look at this. <laughs> here, let me come let me come closer to you. Okay. Now, I don't know if y'all have ever seen an octopus up close, but Oh my gosh, this one actually really smelled. I'm gonna tell you a few things about this. Octopus are very cool animals and you don't get to see them that often because why, you know, they, they really mimic their surroundings. They're in the water. Uh, they, they don't come up on dry land, so you don't see them that often. Um, but a couple of interesting things about it. Octopus is actually the genus name. So, uh, you know, you are, if you don't know anything about scientific names, they're like Latin names and they name things certain ways. So now you know one, your first one. And then vulgaris is a species. So octopus vulgaris is how the scientists would say uh, this one is. But we call it the common science, uh, I mean the, co the common octopus. Um, the, the mantle is the, the head part uh, right here. It's got uh, its eyes. They actually have gills to breathe. Um, and like you, like you would expect, there's eight arms. Uh, and they've got all these suction cups all over them. Actually about 2,000 suction cups. And uh, that's how they're able to grab on to what they eat, uh, which is mollusks, crabs, they're carnivores, so really uh, anything. Their mouth is located right here on the bottom. Uh, so very interesting. Um, the other things, they have um, three hearts. So I was talking about the gills. So they have one on each side of their bodies for pumping blood to the gills. So one heart for the right side, one heart for the left side. And then they have another heart that pumps throughout their entire body. So, so three hearts, uh, one stomach, two eyes. Woo, man. Uh, they don't have any ears, so they can't hear. Um, man. Okay, what else, what else is interesting? They, these are actually found worldwide so we have them here in the gulf of mexico it's one of the best studied octopuses in the world because uh, of how common it is uh, around the world um, they walk now when they walk here get a video of this um, i mean it looks better of course when they're alive but when they walk they can walk along the ground they can crawl or they can swim they can actually pull water in uh, and then uh, use the water to uh, pulse them out when they swim. Of course, you know, they have uh, an ink sac, so they have a gland that uh, has ink, and they can use that whenever they're trying to, like say something comes up to try to eat them, they can actually shoot that ink out and then get away. Uh, they, they also have a venom, so whenever they're eating like a mollusk or crab or something like that, they want to be able to stun it so that it's not moving around on them. So they can, they put that venom in them and it slows them down. Uh, they have a beak. So this beak is what is able uh, to them to be able to get into shells, uh, you know, to be able to eat the meat out of it. But, um, okay, now the females can actually lay 300 to 500,000 eggs and they will stay by that mass of eggs until they hatch which is around four to five months so that uh that's dedication right there really wanting your offspring to survive uh, and why do they have so many because probably very few of them actually survive but okay i just had to show you this this is just the most amazing animal on earth and, it, and it's so uh smelly right now because uh it, it's not alive that we're just gonna set it down here. Uh, and because what eats it, besides uh, humans, that's another thing, is like there's a huge market for these um, around the world. People love eating octopus. Now, um, now what eats this? Like when it's up here, it's gonna be birds, crabs are gonna come up, all kinds of things. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it there. And that's it for this episode of Beachcomb and we'll see you next time. Bye.